Hello, my name is Jorge Gonzalez and today I will explain how to make reliability analysis in Minitab 18. Well, I have some experience in this field. Uh, even in 2015 I was a presenter in the International Applied Reliability Symposium. This was organized by ReliaSoft. This is uh, another company. Uh, so I have experience not only in Minitab, also in the Rolaya software. Okay, let's move to the Minitab. So here we have this data, uh, our uh, data coming from trucks, failures from trucks. And in the first column, we have the miles to failure. That means we have a failure uh, in 62,874 miles. So we are indicating the failures with an F in the second column and we are using sensor da data. What, is, what does it mean, sensor data? There are units that have not failed when we evaluate and take the data. So we have a running truck in 18,489 18, kilometers, it was working. So that we use the Z. So we have some, some Zs and also some failures and this is a data that Minitabs use for uh, fitting the, the model. So the first thing that we will do is to, to understand what is the distribution that fits our data. So we will go to, to a stat menu and then we will use this reliability and survival. Well, in this case, uh, we will use this menu, the distribution analysis right censoring. When you have the data in this way, when you have the time to failure in a column or miles to failure in a column, and in the second column in this is failure or censoring, then you use right censoring. So uh, in my next videos, I will try to also to, to explain the warranty analysis, warranty analysis data. And also I will try to make a, a video about the accelerate live testing menu in Minitab. So, okay, we will use and this menu and then we will click distribution array plot so this is in order to evaluate which distribution fits better our data here a, a, a good feature of Minitab is that we can test all kind of distributions uh, for example in the Relia software we can only use Wavel uh, so this is a constraint from my point of view so here in variables then we will select the miles to failure and then in sensor menu we need to assure we have a column so then we will double click this column type and here our censoring value it's a C so we need to to put it in this way to tell Minitab that these are units that have not failed until that miles so we click OK and here in the options then we will select least square method. We have two methods in Minitab, the maximum likelihood and least square method. I always suggest to use least square when we have not too much uh, sample size. When we have a huge amount of, sa of sample size, then it is good to, to use the maximum likelihood. But in this case, 28 is not enough. So then we will click OK. Then we click OK and Minitab Minitab will generate all the charts, probability plots, to indicate uh, which is the, the best fit. In this case, in this case, for example, it's if you go to the graph folder, you can go. Minitab create three charts. In each charts, uh, we have the weighable, log normal, exponential, log logistic. And here we have the correlation coefficient, the Pearson correlation. The, the, the better is to have a one, but the, the highest as possible, the better. So in this case, Weibull is this chart. So if the points, the blue dots are uh, near to this line, it, it, it tells us that it's a better fit. So in this case, we can also go to the Sochenfeld session folder and in this case we can compare in a better way so here we have all the distributions that Minitabs evaluate and here we have the person correlation coefficient so the higher the better 
In this case, uh, we can select the Weibull. The Weibull uh, can fit our data in, in the better way. This is what we have. So we can move to the next, to the next uh, analysis that we can make in this with this data, and then we can use this option that is called distribution overview plot. So the in the same way, we will double click here, uh, then here in the parametric analysis, then we know that it's Weibull, so we will select it. And the same in the same way, the sensor, we need to indicate to Minitab that we are using censoring column. If you only have failures, then you, you don't even need to put a, another column, and that's it. Options. E, and then we will select least square method and then we will run it. So a mini tab will uh, generate this uh, overview of the distribution of our failures and then here we have the first chart is the probability density function. So and here in this axis we have the miles. So here we, we more or less uh, understand how is the a shape of our distribution. Uh, here is a probability, a specific probability in, in in the in these miles. And here is the survival plot. So at zero miles, all of our trucks will be running, and until this time, uh, according to our model, all the trucks will will be failed. So here in, in this chart, we can more or less to understand, we can trace, for example, uh, we can add a reference line here. If we go to, we right click, add reference line, and then we can add a reference line in Y in the 50%. So we would like to understand where is the 50% of our failures happening. So here, uh, I can tell you that it's uh, around 45,000 miles. Fifth, we expect that 50% of all the trucks will be failing before before that uh, time, before that miles, 45. So, and here we have some uh, table of statistics. This is the shape and scale. This is parameters coming from the Weibull distribution. And also we have the mean, standard deviation, the median, interquartile range, number of failures, number of sensor, and well, the correlation coefficient and the Anderson Darling statistic here. Um, so here uh, we have an understanding of, of the survival function. Here the, the other chart that is not visible is the failure distribution. So in, in, in that case, we can use the the other option in mini tab that is called parametric distribution analysis and here we will make the same Weibull sensor uh, we will select this and well here th there are more options here for example if we have different failure modes we can add it here in this case we are not uh, having different uh, failure modes and here we can ask for certain type of est estimation so in the estimation method we will use least square and for example here uh, estimate percentiles for these additional persons so for example if we would like to understand uh, 50 when it uh, it happens, the uh, uh, fifty percent of the failures or 90, 99 percent of the failures were in which miles, and we will get the the ninety nine percent of the failures or even higher ninety nine point nine. Let's see. And here, estimate probabilities for the these times value. For example, in this case or in this field, if we would like to know. Um, what is the estimate percentage or the, the cumulative failure probability 
um, before 10,000 miles so then we can add miles here and then we can request the estimate cum cumulative failure probability so if we select this we are telling survival probability that means this is the the function that we are getting and we can tell the opposite this is how many failures we are expecting in this percentage or in this in these miles okay we will click okay um, I think this is all that we get here it's not so rough okay we can ask the probability plot the probability plot is the one that we already get it so we will eliminate the the failure the the chart that we don't get is the cumulative failure plot so we will ask the, the for the cumulative failure plot and then we click OK. So this is it. So this is the cumulative failure plot. Here we start with 0% of failures at 0 miles and it's increasing until it says that we will get 100% of the failures before 140,000 miles so this is more or less the 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 distribution then we can click here and understand a specific point if we are interesting to to evaluate but we also request it um, and then we got we can go to the session folder and here if you remember, we, we asked a mini tab the cumulative failure probability at 10,000. So then we get a 5.7 percentage. So 5.7 percentage of failures we will get at 10,000 10, miles. And we can see it here in the chart in the cumulative. So we ask for around 10,000, here it is, or well, more or less, we can add a, a reference line here. This is in Y and this is in X, in this case we will add a reference line in 10,000 10, miles. And, and this is it, we can go directly into the intersection and more or less understand this is the the data that is provided by Minitab. So in a cumulative way, we will get 5% of all the trucks will fail before 10,000 miles. And this is what we get. This is how the reliability analysis is being done in Minitab. First step, understand the what is the best distribution for our data. And then after, identify the parameters from my distribution in this case this is it and i really like this i mean to have this because then you can play it in in a different in a different way in, in minitab for example in a visual way if you if you got this data already then you can go to graph product probability distribution plot so then we need to select the view probability this menu has a very good visual charts and then we will just select the distribution weighable and then here in the shape and the scale then we will place these estimators parameters come from our previously analysis then we will place 1.67502 and then 54,313 Dot seven. We don't have threshold because the wavelength it's not three parameters, and then we will select shaded area. And here, for example, if we have an, uh, a warranty of thirty thousand miles, and we would like to know um, all the failures that we will get, or the percentage of failures that we will get before this thirty thousand, so then we will select x value and then we just select left tail so here uh, minitab will create a chart uh, that will tell us uh, 
how much percentage of failures of trucks we will get uh, before your warranty uh, so in this case we, you will get 3% of all the, your trucks uh, and you will need to pay this a huge amount of money for warranties uh, in the other way you can go directly to the uh, last dialog or control E and then you will request in the shaded area the right tail in this case we are asking me to tap the survival probability so it's the opposite so we are getting 69% uh, of all the trucks will survive 30,000 miles um, we also can uh, ask mini tap in a specific range instead of looking for right tail or left tail you can ask uh, some probabilities inside the, the, the distributions for example how many how much percentage of failures we, we will get between 30,000 miles and 40,000 miles and well this is this is it 14 14 uh, 40 percent of failures will happen between 30,000 miles and 40,000 miles so this is a very visual way to 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 present your reliability analysis and this you can do it, it with the probability distribution plot once that you already detect which distribution fits better your data and also we you have already the shape or the scale and that means the parameters coming from your distribution so this is it I hope you like this video uh, if you like this video and you would like to to see more of my videos please subscribe 